Many moons ago, in the trigonometry forest, lived a young Indian girl named Sokotoa. As with all Indians, Sokotoa derived her name from a memorable event in her early childhood. One day, her father noticed her dangling her feet in the water and solving problems involving right triangles, as she always did. He cleverly declared her name Sokotoa. Sokotoa studied for many years and became very proficient in mathematics. She probably would become a famous mathematician if she hadn't discovered boys, especially falling rock. Sokotoa liked falling rock and convinced him to study mathematics with her. Sokotoa tried to teach falling rock about the legs of a right triangle, but he was more interested in her. Falling rock asked Sokotoa to marry him. She agreed to be his bride and to put her studying aside. But before they could wed, Falling Rock had to pass the trials of manhood. Every boy in the tribe had to complete this ritual to be deemed ready for the responsibilities of marriage. Tasks were uniquely created for each individual. Falling Rock's task required him to travel to Triangle Mountain and put ink on the tail of the parrot that sits at the peak. When Falling Rock and his tribe arrived at the base of the mountain, the elders supplied him with a few cooking utensils and a jar of ink for the parrot's tail. He bid them farewell and spent many days in the sun, becoming quite the tan gent on his way to the peak. That was the last time anyone ever saw him. After a few weeks, Sokotoa decided to go up the mountain to find him. A few thousand feet up, she found her lover's cooking utensils sitting over a fire. The high pot in use was a sign that she was on the right side of the Triangle Mountain. She climbed to the top, but she didn't find the parrot. However, she did find a message written on a stone. Her mathematical sense found it ironic that on the stone at the peak of Triangle Mountain were the words, Polygon. Sokotoa descended the mountain and never gave up hope that she might find her lost lover. Even to this day, it is said that she is still looking for him. In fact, you can still see the signs Sokotoa left on the sides of the roads in the mountains. Watch for Fallen Rock. In honor of Sokotoa's mathematics with right triangles, we can use her name to help us remember the trig functions for the right triangle. Sine equals opposite over hypotenuse. Cosine equals adjacent over hypotenuse. And tangent is equal to opposite over adjacent. 